Hey guys, we're out here uh, working on a sliding door. This is considered an OXXO from one of our manufacturers out here in the wild, wild west. So just to give you a quick rundown on an OXXO, that means our O's are stationary panels. So we've got an O panel, which is stationary, an X panel that moves, X panel that moves, and then another O panel that is stationary. So these two meet in the middle. With these, you have to make sure that you've got your L brackets secured on the top and bottom. Uh, these are going to be going against your stationary panels because especially for these larger panels, when you've got a lot of weight that comes together, if you're closing one side at a time, you're going to be pulling on that stationary panel. So I'll have you guys come take a look at this L bracket that we've got on the bottom over here. So it's pretty simple. We've got some self-tapping screws. You can see uh, some of our metal shavings right there. We use flathead screws, uh, paint them afterwards so that they blend in so no, they're not going to be standing out uh, when someone is looking at the door. I'll take you guys up top, show you what I'm doing up there, and then I'll, I'll hand the camera back to Joe so that uh, you guys can watch as I screw it in. After that, we're going to take you to the inside to show you one of the things that we do for one, security for our homeowners, as well as function of the door. So I'm going to set these guys down and head on up. So I'm going to take the camera real quick, jump up and show you. Basically, it's the same thing as on the bottom. I've pre-drilled my holes already. I've got one right here and then one in the top. Uh, there was a bracket that was set here. Uh, they had backed it off a little too far, so that's why we're resetting this one right here. I'm going to give our cameo to Joe right there. Hand him back the camera. So for this, we're going to be doing... Uh, I'm going to take an inch and a quarter flathead screw that I'll be painting afterwards. This is going to be the one that runs into the head. Uh, I typically like to use an inch and a quarter screw when I run it into the panel. Just a quick heads up, make sure you always check the length of your screws on those panels because we do not want to puncture or break the glass. For this, I'm going into an area that's more solid aluminum than I want to be going through with an inch and a quarter screw. So I'm going to be using a three quarter inch self-tapping screw. Still going to be uh, extremely sound. I don't have anything to worry about with that. Uh, like I said, I pre-drilled these holes, so hopefully this goes extremely smoothly. Um, better than the long video you would have gotten of me struggling with this for a little bit. But anyways, we're going to... that one now we're gonna take our three-quarter inch this guy goes in now with a lot of these screws uh, we don't want to be going too crazy tight on them because we are going into metal sometimes the screw heads will snap and then you kind of get into a big world of hurt I believe who has the oh got it on the ground we used an oil-based paint pen from uh, Sharpie, which you can get these on Amazon, super easy. Uh, I've seen them in Home Depot, but I haven't seen the fine points in black. I've seen different colors, and I've seen a fat head in black uh, for these markers. They work extremely well. Like I said, oil-based paint, so we're not concerned about water washing them away. At first, these will have a bit of a gloss finish because they are wet, but once they dry, they'll start to have more of a matte finish. So we don't have to worry about it sticking out on our metal. All right, I'm gonna take you guys now to the inside uh, to show you one of the things that we do, like I said, for security, uh, as well as for function of the door. So we're gonna be using an inch and a quarter hand head screw this time. Um, let's take you around. So we've just showed you guys the two brackets that hold that stationary panel in place. <laughs> if someone were to come pull those two brackets, they could then slide the stationary panel over and they could walk into someone's house. So what we do, one for security, like I said, is we're gonna set screws into the frame from the inside into this panel right here. So even if someone were to take, which is blending in because we painted it, so I'll show you guys with this silver one here in a second. Even if someone were to take the two L brackets off, they would not be able to get in because we have set screws through the frame into the style of our door. So for this, 
Um, it's pretty simple. The reason why we like to use the pan heads is because we've got a channel that it's gonna fit in a whole lot better right there. So I've got a little bit of room inside there. There we go. Um, we'll drill that in. We wanna try and make sure that we're drilling into the panel as well. I didn't pre-drill this one, so this one might be a little bit more adventurous, but um, we're gonna set this. I've already set one in the top. We already showcased the one in the bottom. We're gonna do one in the middle. I like to usually do three standard for all the sliders that I'm doing, unless you're getting down to let's say below eight feet in a slider height, which then we can do to one in the top, one in the bottom. that you set the screw in the right place is there should be no movement in this stationary panel on the back side anymore. That screw has gone through our frame into the style of this panel and it's now sucking it basically right on top of each other. So uh, I'll have you guys come take a look. Now we've got a nice shiny screw head right there. You can see it's in the channel. It's holding that panel together. The panel's not moving when I push on it. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna touch up paint that the other thing too is that let's say uh, our brackets for some reason start to fail over time if they set in the wrong spot. These are a backup to that or if you want to think about it, they're all synergistically working together. So that brings us to it's for safety and it's for the longevity of this door. I hope you guys have a great day and we will catch you on the next one.